Hey, welcome to Mechnician. Today we're going to do a demonstration uh, using the Gel Test 22.3 software, uh, looking at the Hitachi 200 series excavators. And specifically, we're wanting to look at that Dash 6, uh, see what sort of capabilities we've got uh, on the excavators, and uh, show you some of the, uh, the features in that here of the Gel Test Diagnostic Solution. And certainly, every model and every brand is going to have different coverage and different levels of uh, capabilities. And as always, the number one job title at Gel Test is uh, software engineer. So certainly, you know, as they have the three major releases every year, uh, the software and everything is going to continue to grow and evolve. More systems, more features, more diagrams, more everything. But uh, certainly, lo looking forward here to showing you the 200 series dash six, uh, where it is here today. So if we have a look uh, here, we're in the. You saw me go into the uh, ZX series under Hitachi, and let's have a look here, the 200-6. Uh, so we come into the 200-6, we see we've got, um, you know, reasonable coverage here of different systems, uh, from after treatment to the central computer, electronics, uh, the engine, instrument cluster, uh, and you can see on the right some of the different uh, names here, the CAN bus, K-line, uh, uh, connections and then also we've got some uh, special functions that are available uh, mostly these look like they're in the engine here at this point on the dash 6 uh, depending on which engine you've got which version but everything from cylinder cut cutout test to diesel particulate filter regens uh, injector coating so on and so forth uh, one of the nice features on the Hitachi and we it's also on the Caterpillar as well uh, is being able to uh, actually set up the implements uh, for the excavators. So you want to set up the pressures and flows, uh, you can do that from the gel test diagnostic solution. So let's uh, let's go in and just take a look at um, you know one of the the engines here and have a look at just some of the features and functionality that's available inside the gel test solution. So you can see right away we go to connect. It's going to give us uh, either the cable, the 213.9 uh, and the 561A9. You know, the different ways you can kind of get your power. Or you can come in and have a look at the multi-pin connection, uh, which is also an option. It does come with your kit, and it's going to show you kind of which connectors you've got to use. It's always easiest to use the actual hard cable. Uh, the gel test cable is going to give you a direct uh, connection. You don't have to worry about setting up your pins every time, which can be a bit of a fuss. But if you pull up on one, you can actually go and you can do it. So, so let's go and connect here with uh, the 213.9. And then it's looking for a variant on this engine. So let's pick the one that's got the particulate filter um, versus the scrubber. Indifferent, but just to kind of show you the features. So, so some of the basic things you can do here when you come in to a system, uh, you can see down the left-hand side some of the menus that are available. Uh, depending how far built out that model or, or brand is. In this case, we've got a lot of diagnostics on this specific system being the engine. Uh, you know, everything from, you know, reading, clearing codes, live monitoring, uh, some maintenance, calibration. Uh, you can do data recording to run it through different uh, functions and kind of see what's changing. Uh, then we've got system technical data, some diagrams, and some t troubleshooting by symptoms if there is no codes, but uh, you've got something kind of a little funky going on with your engine. So let's uh, let's just go in and have a look at the, the fault codes that are here are pushing and show you some of the, the ways you're able to kind of read and what you can do with it. So if we come in, you can see here, it's, you know, this is just demo data obviously, but we've got a few engine fault codes that have fired. Uh, we can have a look at, you know, what the status of those are, uh, then have a look at some of the troubleshooting uh, functions with it. So let's uh, let's take a look at this crankshaft sensor. So, you know, we can see uh, the fault. You know, if we want to get some information and actually see it on the wiring diagram, we can kind of come into here. Uh, if we want to learn about the crankshaft position sensor as a component itself, uh, it'll take us right to it. Okay, got it. I see my pins. Um, you know, if I wanted to go into the measurements, I could do that as well. But most importantly, in this case, uh, this specific fault, we've actually got uh, troubleshooting to take it, take us through the, the steps. You can see here, gel test info is, is still free for off-highway, uh, continue to be so through the end of the year. Uh, with, as I mentioned before, the number one job description being software engineer at gel test, uh, there's certainly tons of development in all these releases. So lots of troubleshooting development going on with the off-highway. Uh, so if you come in here, it's going to take you through the steps. 
uh, you know, hey, make sure it starts correctly. You know, did you detect the failure? No. Uh, you know, you want to wait 30 seconds for turning it on again. You can even pop up a quick countdown timer that's always in there too. Like lots of little things to help you kind of manage the different processes. This is obviously just one example, but uh, did you detect the failure there? No, we didn't yet. Uh, so let's carry on. You know, a bit of a smart uh, flow here to kind of take you through the, the troubleshooting. Let's check the crankshaft uh, sensor, look for the resistance, you know, check the state of the connector pins. So if you want to look, there's an actual guide on, you know, electrical wiring and connections, gives you some good tips. Uh, did that help going through the connections and the pins? No, it didn't. You know, let's go carry on. I'm going to take you to the next steps. Look for the operating voltage and so on and so forth. So let's say, you know, one of these... Uh, we actually detected it. Uh, we can say, yes, we've solved our problem. Uh, then we can come in and it actually allows us to clear the fault codes as a next step. Uh, and procedure has finished. So, you know, pretty uh, straightforward, you know, depending on the code that you have and uh, what information is available in gel test info. They're going to take you all the way through to like the wiring diagram. The If you got to do measurements as that step or whatever it is that's needed, it's going to connect you right into it so that you're able to go through the troubleshooting and very simple flow and not to the data. So, um, so that's kind of the basics on the diagnostics menu or for, for simple, uh, diagnostics, you know, we can, again, clearing the code system data, it's going to tell you the ECU, some of the, the basic parameters on the, uh, machine and information. Live data is a good one to kind of see, uh, you're going to get this for all kind of the systems you're plugging into typically, and you can come in, have a look in all the data that's available um, that you want to look at. I mean, you know, it's pretty much anything and everything they make available. You can see in this Hitachi, there's tons of live data you can access. Uh, if I come in and, you know, I could search and maybe I just want to look um, for everything that's got to do with fuel, you know, and I could select all the ones with fuel and then come have a look uh, at the interactive view. And it's going to show me all the different fuel readings um, that are available or any of the keywords that had fuel in it basically that we were searching. But whatever it is that you're wanting to read and pull live measurements, you can do that. And it's also capturing it to put it in the work order for you at the end. So it's it's real handy to, to do that. Uh, you can set triggers too. So if you want to know, you know, when you've hit different um, conditions or values, uh, it'll set that trigger. You know, and you can add those measurements as well, not to diagnostic report. So, you know, all this you're able to go through based on you know, the specific data you're trying to read. Uh, and you can also, the groups, everything's grouped, the different measurements and so, so on. It's uh, very user friendly. I mean, essentially, whatever you're looking for, your users are going to be able to figure that out as you kind of step in and uh, try to get the data. So let's, um, oops, let's go back. Sorry, didn't mean to leave the diagnostic menu. So uh, monitoring, you can actuate different components, you know, in injection, uh, pre-injection control injectors, uh, valve states, you know, you can take that through the different, um, you know, instructions that'll be there for you. You know, if you want to look at, uh, make sure a solenoid valve is, is operating function or is operating correctly, it's going to emit a sound, you know, engine's got to be stopped. It's telling you, okay, great. I'm going to stop my engine again, just, um, demo data, which cylinder do you want to run? You know, it's on, accept, you know, and it's finished. So, you know, it's all the different functions that would be in here for each one of them is going to provide you with um, the instructions. It's uh, it's rather simple. So, you know, whether, no matter what it is that you're trying to function, uh, for example, if we come down in here into maintenance and we actually want to run uh, force a regen, um, on the system you know, you've got to have expert mode enabled to do it. Obviously, um, you know, it's high temperatures and there is the ability to set a code so that your expert mode is not available to all of your technicians. But in this case, let's come in. We'll accept, uh, it's enabled. So it's going to take you through all the steps to, to go through, uh, a regen, you know, telling you specifically what is, is there. So in this case, we'll kind of, you know, see what the initial, um, 
information is before running it. Make sure you've carried out the, to reset all the active reduction status. Do you want to perform this reset? Yes, perform the reset. You know, engine's got to be at idle. It's going to tell you that. It's going to make sure it's there. It's going to take about 30 minutes. You know, and in this case, it's, uh, you know, it's actually running the process. And when you're done, you know, you're actually able to see, um, you know, all the different data that gets produced during the regeneration, some of the temperatures, uh, the exhaust gas, uh, the engine, and you're able to kind of see what's kind of happened. And it does take all this data too and push it back to your work order. So the information's all captured along the way. So, and all these, you can see some other functions here under the maintenance side for the, um, the engine, but, or the uh, regeneration. Calibration, you know, pressure regulator, you get reset the ECU, uh, some parameters, you get a code injectors, all those same thing. It's going to take you all the way through all the different steps, uh, tell you exactly what you need, give me the codes uh, and program everything. So um, not bad coverage here for the uh, on the engine side for the Hitachi. So come into technical data, you know, you've got all the different components on uh, the engine. So if you want to kind of just go through uh, and you've got specific uh, details you're looking for, I mean, you can actually go into the different diagrams uh, and everything right here. So if I want to see the dosing control unit, it's going to show me that on the, on the wiring diagram. And the diagrams are fairly, um, you know, they're very visual, click through, get the information you need, uh, tells you what you're looking at. Um, relatively simple to kind of get what you're wanting to get out of the, the wiring diagram side. All right, so if I click through, here's the temperature sensor, shows me my pinouts, um, you know, and all my appropriate connections. So I'm just saying if I wanted to kind of find something specifically, I can just kind of click and it's going to take to me to it in the diagram. I mentioned there's troubleshooting by symptoms. Symptoms troubleshooting. Uh, it gives you, you know, when there's not a fault code present or you still can't solve, find the problem. Uh, there's gel test info has, you know, some other symptoms in that, that it can take you through, uh, some steps to basically work to try to solve them. In this case, we've got a vibration, you know, obviously check the diagnostic faults, make sure we don't have any, uh, look at the flywheel, crankshaft bearing. So some basic steps here on vibration, but just the same. It's uh, taking you through some some steps. You may or may not uh, know what steps to take when you encounter that, and it helps make that process a lot simpler. So, you know, quick walk through there of, um, you know, the engine component. Uh, there is also, I can see, disconnect from the system. You know, I mentioned we've got uh, the ability to do some work tool uh, implementation configuration. Uh, on the Hitachi Dash 6 200 series. So you can come in, same thing. What's my connector? How do I do it? Uh, it's gotta be an expert mode to go programming work tools, obviously uh, high pressure and, and flows and you wanna make sure you got the right people performing this kind of work. So now you come in, the parameters are gonna come up and you can actually just toggle them uh, and set the different you know flows, adjustments, operating speeds. Uh, you know, what valves and so on and so forth. So pretty simple. Uh, you know, the, the actual user interface of the gel test software is great. Uh, very simple. And it's the same setup, the same screens, the same menus, the same way of using it. You know, whether you're looking at an on highway vehicle to an off highway, uh, dozer or, or equipment. So going to have more coverage on things like on highway, the off highway has got a lot of work being built out. Uh, amazing coverage over 150 brands, but you know, three major updates a year, just significant. So anyways, you got any more questions or want to see another specific demo, uh, visit mechnician.com and we appreciate you for joining us today.